First you'll want to lay out the poles and make sure that all the parts are accounted for. The poles are well marked and easy to assemble. Once you have the grow room out of the box, unzip it and unfold it. Once you've done this, you're ready to put your grow room structure together. The male and female will connect both the bottom and the top poles together. You may want to tape these connections to assure additional support and integrity. Once you have your poles together, we can stretch the tent over the poles. Zip the tent up to inspect the fit. The zippers are made with new heavy duty construction for increased durability. The side six inch duct holes are great for air cooling lights. These are necessary when running 600 or 1000 watt lights The Vigro grow rooms come with both upper and lower six inch vents for cooling, venting, or hooking up carbon filters and fan combinations. The outer clear vinyl pocket is great for storing meters, instructions, feed charts, or even your hydrometer and thermometer. On the side you'll notice clips. These clips are used to keep the entry doors open while you work and maintain your garden. You'll notice that the Vigro grow rooms have three vents for fresh air intake which can be opened or closed depending on your environmental needs. You'll want to install the secondary floor which will help prevent leaks in the event of a water spill, but primarily the secondary floor is to increase overall durability.
If you've purchased our complete grow room kit, we will want to install our carbon filter and fan. The carbon filter fan combo is really the respiratory system of our grow room. We recommend these for every indoor growing environment. The carbon filter and fan create an air exchange where the air is pulled through the carbon filter and out of the tent. Fresh air is then pulled in through the bottom of the air vents. Second, it will decrease our heat created by the grow bulbs. As the heat is created, it naturally goes up, goes through the carbon filter, and is then forced out of the tent. Remember, air on the ground is often five degrees cooler than air at head height. Thirdly, it will deodorize and kill mold spores. The pre-filter will clean the air of dirt particles, while the carbon will deodorize and kill mold spores, pathogens, and pythiums. When your carbon filter increases its natural weight by 20%, it will be time to replace the filter. Okay, once we have our carbon filter and fan combination adhered to the top of the grow room, we're going to install our yo-yo light movers. Once again, we do this with zip ties. Using the yo-yo, you can move your light up or down, getting it closer to the plants. For every foot the light travels, you lose half the available PAR. That's photoactive radiation. That's what the plant uses for photosynthesis. So the closer you keep your light, the better growth rates and yields you'll have. Remember to use the cord holes to minimize cord mess. The multi-pin timers are easy to set. The red button on the side when in the up position, the automatic position, which will allow you to operate your light according to how you've set it. If the red button is in the lower position, it will allow you to override the pins keeping the light on at all times. Each pin represents 15 minutes and when placed in the down position by depressing, this will be on time. The Vivolt magnetic ballasts come in 400 watts, 600 and 1000 watt units. The Vivolt ballast will operate on both 120 and 240 volt. They come with 120 volt cords. The 400 watt and the 1000 watt are switchable to accommodate both metal halide and HPS bulbs.